local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Most of us this afternoon starting out dry, but there are a few exceptions. We got one downpour right now around Independence at moving eastward toward Galax. It's going to take about 20 minutes to get there, though. Another downpour just east of Boone's Mill that's going to try and weasel its way closer to Westlake Corner, but it has been falling apart here over the past few minutes. But man, this one's a strong one near Massey, Massey's Mill. This is going to continue to move eastward toward Rockfish here, probably within the next 10 to 15 minutes. In fact, if you're watching from Rockfish, you may actually be hearing a few uh, cracks of thunder. So just a few spotty storms as we go through the rest of the day today. Future tracker really nailing the location here. But as we head toward about 2 p.m., we'll see especially along into the east of the Blue Ridge Parkway. These spotty showers and storms are going to be moving slowly from west to east. That really the case between now and about 6 p.m. The really weak disturbance that's causing these is going to move off toward the east. So behind that, things actually start to turn a little drier and a little less humid for us. So pleasant temperature. Temperatures and humidity overnight. Check it out. A lot of us around 55 to 60 degrees. Roanoke at 62, Lexington at 59, with Withville at a pair of fives. A pretty chilly start actually to the morning tomorrow. And if you're an early riser around 504, the International Space Station flying over, you got to start out looking toward the south southwestern sky. It'll last about six minutes as it flies fairly low on the horizon. But then by tomorrow afternoon, low humidity, lots of sunshine, maybe a little bit of haze and warmer temperatures An a plus kind of day. If you had the day off to be out on the lake temperatures, middle 60s in the morning. Lunchtime will be in the lower 80s with highs tomorrow around 85 to 90 degrees. Most of the, of the dust from the Saharan desert that's going to stay south of us tomorrow, but a little bit of haze is going to start to try and settle in, especially as we head into Saturday. You see those yellows, so sunrise Saturday, sunset set Saturday and sunrise Monday or Sunday, excuse me, probably looking pretty good for us, but a little bit of daytime haze as well. You see that fairly likely, maybe a few air quality issues, especially if you've got COPD, asthma, any kind of related lung or health issues. But the other good thing about this is that it's going to reduce the chance for any kind of tropical systems in the Gulf of Mexico. So really typical summertime weather as we head into the weekend. This for the New River Valley, you see temperatures steadily on the incline heading into the week. Weekend. So by Saturday, a lot of us in the low to mid 80s. Again, a couple spotty storms today, though most of which are going to be east of the New River Valley. We're mostly dry tomorrow. We're mostly dry on Saturday as well. But then we start to see the humid humidity building back into the forecast, especially Saturday heading into Sunday. A little hazy at times too. Scattered showers and thunderstorms probably after about 1 or 2 p.m. We'll update you on the timing, but that's really the trend for us. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Wednesday with temperatures pretty much status quo for this time of year and for the Roanoke Valley middle 80s today mid to upper 80s tomorrow and then we'll do even better by Saturday. The wind coming down the mountain really tends to help us out in the valley to heat things up and keep things fairly dry on Saturday. But by Sunday we're back into the mid to upper 80s with a better chance for showers and storms and that chance is just going to linger as we head into the middle part of next week with high temperatures in the 80s. I'll show you what's the driving force behind that coming up in the next half hour on 10 News at Noon.